Allahu Welcome to our audience that is viewing from home during this lockdown. Um, my name is Kashmir Meriam and this is my sister Aisha. Aisha, would you like to introduce yourself and what we do as the Strangers Organization? Yes. Assalamu alaikum. Bismillahi wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. My name is Aisha and I am part of an organization called The Strangers and our goal is to revive the message of Islam and we do this through uh, different different means. One of the means is through spoken word poetry, through the collective voice of Muslim poets around the world um, and just being able to clear up misconceptions. So that's our main goal. Um, yes, Kash. Yeah, excellent. Jazakallah khair. Uh, so the work that we do as the strangers is we host a lot of uh, poetry slams. A lot of the time they're, um, you know, in person. And so we have our poets go up on stage. They compete for trophies um, and prizes. And we just have a good time. It's basically to platform the Muslim voice so that we can portray the true message of Islam through the art of spoken word poetry. Um, so it's a creative yes. art. It's something that is uh, powerful and empowering. Um, and that's what we wanted to do for you today. So we have a great show lined up for you all. Um, we hope that you enjoy watching. Um, and I just wanted to clarify a few things that are a little bit different about uh, slam poetry uh, versus written poetry or any other type of poetry, Shakespeare, whatever, you, whatever type of poetry you are into. Um, so the difference between slam poetry is that it is um, about the content of the poem, so how deep is the lyrical content, how um, how relevant is it to the audience, how how powerful is the 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 methods that are used to articulate what is being said in the poem, and second of all, um, the the powerful thing about slam poetry and probably one of the more important traits of slam poetry is that it is heavily about the way in which the message is revealed to the audience. So it's not just about reading from a sheet of paper, it's about how that message is delivered. Um, so that's something that we put a lot of emphasis on as the strangers and we do uh, with all of our poets as well. So inshallah today you'll be hearing some slam poetry and um, I hope that you enjoy the show and all of the poets that we have lined up. Uh, there are three simple rules that we have for the poets. That is number one, the content has to be um, appropriate. So no curse words. Um, uh, there, there is no inappropriate content um, and our poets do understand that. The second rule is that uh, we have to make sure that the poem is under five minutes. Um, and number three is just to be respectful of everyone that is up there performing. Everyone is sharing something that is meaningful to them and that's something very personal and we have to respect that because that's very sanctified. Um, so yeah, so without any further ado, I would like to introduce our judge for this evening. Her name is Tahani Salah. Is Tahani there? I'm here. As Assalamu alaikum, Tahani. How are you doing? Alhamdulillah, we're doing good. Perfect. So I have Tahani your bio here. I'm just going to read it. And um, hopefully that will explain to everyone your background in poetry. I personally, I know Tahani from before. Um, she's a slam poet. So she knows a thing or two, or more than a thing or two, about performance. And that's one of the reasons we chose to have her on our platform today. Um, and that's something that means a lot to us because I think to be a writer is one thing, but to be a performer is something, um, is something else. So, uh, Jazakallah for joining us today. Thank so, you. Tahani Salah is an educator, poet, and activist based in Brooklyn, New York, with a bloodline to Palestine. She's a graduate of Columbia University, a former professor of curriculum development at the Cooney Graduate Center. She's also a member of the New York Slam team. She competed internationally and holds many slam titles from Europe to Africa. Tahani has also been featured on HBO's Death Poetry Jam. She is passionate about peace and activism and carries that into the classroom as an educator, showing how life creates art and using it all as a tool of expression. As an artist dedicated to bringing light and solutions to communities where people's voices have been silenced, Tahani has performed at a number of world famous stages, including the Apollo Theater in New York City, to universities in the US, South Africa, Germany, Canada, Palestine, Jordan, and many more. <laughs> Mashallah. Okay, so Tahani, you told me to pick one or two lines from your bio, but I felt like everyone needed to hear that. Okay. Um, so welcome. So we'll have Sister Amira go up. 
السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته سيستر بليز انتروديوس يور سيلف اند جو فور ات اوكي ام ماي نيم از اميرا ام ا هاي سكول ستودنت ان فريدريكسبرغ فيرجينيا The poem I'm going to perform today is about hypocrisy in Islamophobia, particularly in the United States, but everywhere. Okay. Dungun camel jockey, towel head terrorist, too many names to list. Go back to where you came from, get out of our country. Well, guess what? I was born here, miss. Sorry for San Bernardino, for Orlando, for Boston, for the KKK. Oh yeah, that wasn't us. No, 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 they're just white Christian men. They're just mentally ill and can be forgiven. But if they were brown, black, or yellow, we'd be apologizing for things we never did. Yell and scream about the Middle East forcing religion on oppressed girls and women, but you'll send out flyers calling to, call, to kill all Muslims because we won't undress to fit your American vision. <laughs> Okay, hypocrites. Build a wall to keep out these immigrants. Strengthen border security. Keep out these dangerous refugees. You'll protect them in the womb, but not when bombs are being dropped on their dads and moms and schools and homes. And where is your humanity when you can watch a video of a child dying and use the excuse that it was their fault for trying? How did you forget that God loves all his children when you're always paraphrasing the book in which it was written? Discriminate against Muslim women and our veils, the same veil that Virgin Mary wore, and it's okay when nuns wear it, right? But hey, I'm not here to hate you. I can't resent you or hate you because the very same religion that you call distasteful has taught me that it is wrong to do so. And so, I'll leave you with the customary greeting. Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. Wa alaikum assalam, and upon you be peace. So the next time you see a Muslim, say salam. We don't bite or bomb. I promise. That's it. <laughs> that's I, hate, I remember reading that poem in your submission and uh, it's so true. And I love the, the way you ended it as well. Um, because it's, it's even though it's said in like a very lighthearted manner, um, it's a very heavy thing that Muslims have to deal with constantly uh, to be viewed in a certain way. And, um, you know, Allah bless you for being able to... Um, clear up that misconception. I hope that you did. Um, Is that cool? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I had it muted. Yeah, Jazakallah khair, Sister Amira. I like the fact that you highlight some of the typical stereotypes that we get as Muslims, um, because it, it's true, no matter how much we say it, people still perceive us in a certain kind of way. And, um, and I think you did a great job of articulating that so Jazakallah khair. um sister if people want to follow your content or read more of your poetry do you have a book or social media i do not but i do write for um the the website that's going to launch called muslim.co and later in april at the beginning of ramadan so you can go there to see more of my writing eventually once we launch but i don't have any social media so perfect so muslim.co Yes. Perfect. That's so easy to remember, inshallah. I'll definitely be checking out more of your writing. And jazakallah khair for sharing your content with us. And, um, and yeah, we'll be speaking to you soon, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa I want to thank everyone here. I want to thank primarily uh, for hosting us on their platform every single year when we host this. It's just an amazing success. And I can say, alhamdulillah, from the bottom of my heart, I think this was phenomenally successful. So, jazakallah khair. I want to say a special jazakallah khair to uh, Tahani for doing this, for doing the very, very difficult job of judging. It can never be. Thank you so much. And may Allah reward you and, um, you. and uh, you know, for taking the time out. You're also a mother. So, <laughs> You know, it, I know it's difficult juggling uh, duties, so I will be for that. And um, yeah, do you have any closing remarks, Aisha? Um, I just wanted to say that um, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. May Allah bless all of the viewers for attending. Um, I pray that we all benefited from an event without our poets. Um, now, saying that as well, um, I'm not sure if you can see me. Okay, you could see me now. Um, no further ado uh, you can find the strangers on instagram our website is in the works inshallah so please do uh, definitely 
follow up with more information about the Uyghur campaign, uh, which is a current campaign that we're doing. We hope you enjoyed the letter, the final compilation. Um, a lot of heart went into it from our poets. And thank you again to everyone. And of course, Assistant Tahani, you did an amazing job. Jazakul Khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And Ikna. Of course, Ikna. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, I just want to say the greatest thank you to all of our poets for contributing their pieces. Each one was mind blowing and touched my heart. And I'm sincerely saying that as someone who's been to a lot of poetry slams and had a lot of poetry over the years, as Tahani and as Aisha can both attest to, we had an amazing level of talent tonight. Um, so may Allah reward you all. And yeah, I'm going to close it right there. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.